see on me. But my nose down. Maybe your nostrils down. I'm not sure, but I think maybe nostrils. Nostrils down. Hi guys. Hi. We're doing a weird couple's ASMR. Yeah. And we have pizza and it was a nightmare to get it. I'm not wearing any pants. I'm wearing shorts. You're not wearing any pants. cheese, pan pizza, and buffalo bites, and some breadsticks. I'm gonna go for these chicken pieces. I have to remember to whisper. Is it hard to remember to whisper? Mm. Oh, don't I be forgot. too loud. I forgot. It's okay. Your loud one outburst per video. Okay. The viewers will forgive you for your rape.
there. That's your boy. Yeah, he, he was an animal. He was a lot of fun. I, I have to sniff, so I'm about to do an edit thing. Yeah, he, he's done. He was in Toronto filming and directing this, this TV show. And then he came into the, the bar that I work in, and I was bartending, and he, like, really likes margaritas. <coughs> he's a party animal, and he's...
sounds. Just whatever you decide as, as the creator. Okay. Um, people tend to like, and like you know, around 20 minutes or 10, 20 minutes. Well, I'm definitely ready to get ours on. Yeah, I want to be back in, in bed as well. Yeah, I'm going to take this sweater off and then just be in underwear and sleep. Sounds perfect. That's my whole game plan today. I may nap as well. extra cheese but for a regular uh, style pizza this one came like pretty fucking cheesy. Mm -hmm. 
was saying, like, I just chill in the house and I wear shorts all the time. How many of you guys are like that? Like, as soon as you get in the door, just, like, certain clothing items just have to come off. For me, it's like, I just want my socks and pants off immediately. And into something, like, very chill. Exactly sure how to feel about it. salad there and I was craving it but honestly right now at this juncture I don't even want it anymore I just want pizza I think I might save it for later on I'll probably get hungry and then just have it because it feels at least kind of healthy and light later on oddly enough um, pizza hut was my second second job I ever had
open and then you just stand there and take the boat and then they have like the rocker blade and you just you just smash like you just cut them really quick and because it was for a buffet they didn't have to be like perfect so that's, that's why I have the buffet some slices are like this and some slices are like that because whoever is standing there literally just taking this blade holding it like this and then as fast as they can so that they can just keep pumping the pizza out because the pizza just gets murdered like as soon as you put out new fresh pizza there's people just piling it on their plate but I liked uh, being that guy for like a few hours just standing there and just shredding pizza because I don't know it just felt like kind of like a challenge and like sort of like destructive in a way which was kind of fun and yeah you're just like operating this huge like knife thing so it's just like it felt kind of dope challenge to myself would always be like how fast can I cut them but how accurate do they come out if they come out nice after being quick it was like sick
When's the last time you had the hut though? Huh? Maybe early 90s? Watching Ninja Turtles? Hope so. Let's get into it. Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a favorite one, Pizza Hut. Haven't had it in a hot, hot minute, so I was like, let me get that. I did order this like box combo. Let's just show you. Da, 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 da. Maybe break down this barrier, see if we can get a better look on that. Ruckus sounds. Speaking of sound, first uh, apology of the video will be that. The sound today is gonna be just iPhone quality. Unfortunately, I lost the doohickey attachment from a microphone to go to my iPhone. So I'm lacking on my proper microphone today. So, I mean, sue me, but you know, let me live. But yeah, anyways, I got this square pan pizza, pepperoni, half mu uh, mushroom, and then half pepperoni. And of course I did it to him, I'm sorry, but you gotta do a little pineapple on your pizza, you know what I mean? <sighs> okay. I know we got a lot of pineapple haters in the world, but I'm a lover of uh, a lover of pineapples on the za. We also hit up Wing Street with this combo. So we've got the boneless honey barbecue boneless bites, which looks like they didn't get a good shaking. So let's do that. A shake, shake, shake. A shake, shake, shake. I shake your booty. I shake your booty. Classic. Have a look in there. Look at fire. And then they were going to offer the Caesar salad with it, but unfortunately, in I don't know if it's Canada, maybe just Ontario, wherever, we're having a Caesar salad E. coli scare in romaine lettuce. So they couldn't offer me the uh, Caesar salad. So we have another delight that we're gonna go with later on. That's involved in this, but we'll pull it out a little later. Also, we gotta get the bubbly Pepsi going. And you guys know it wouldn't be a 90s Pizza Hut delicious treat without a good Pepsi. Cause. Let's be honest. Pepsi was definitely the quintessential treat of Pizza Hut, I believe. Now they switched over to Coke. All right, let's get into this. I'm excited, nappy's on deck. Just gonna spew my guts on this one. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, Creamy G, of course. This one's I got this down from the grocery store downstairs, just because I don't really love Pizza Hut's dipping sauces too, too much. Of course, you got to be difficult. Like really, just the tab rips off. Well, maybe I'll just grab this one. Let's see how this one. Yeah, there we go. Come on. All right, thank you. All right, sick. Yeah, I don't know. Pizza Hut's dipping sauce isn't the most fire. That, however, is the most fire. This uh, bubbly pan, oh, I mean, it's just too signature. Like the hut is so unmatched. Like you can't replicate it. It's 100% like it's unique, own unique thing. It's just like when it's good too, it's so good. Yeah, you guys know I'm shaking. Yeah, as well. See, this is what you want for all you pizza places out there. This is what you want in a dip in a creamy garlic dip. You want to be able to do this and have nothing happen, nothing come out. It needs to be that thick and creamy.
like sludge. Mm. In heaven right now. Haven't had the hot. In a minute. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's try one of these bites. It's got the honey barbecue, which is a good sauce from Hut. I'm actually gonna ranch this though instead. That's another thing though where they're falling short a little bit is with their wing sauces. I don't like their hot, their mild, all that. They just, they taste very strange. Mm. That right there though. That is gold. They do have quality chicken though. You know what? I'm gonna try with the creamy G. Actually really good. Works, it actually works. What pisses me off about this combo, it's like choose two sides. And it's like, it gives you the option of the chicken bites, the Caesar salad, breadsticks, uh, or uh, Cineparts. But it's like, why can't you double up on one side? Why can't I just get two orders of the chicken? Why do I have to like, be forced into breadsticks or Caesar salad or whatever? Probably because chicken's more expensive, but. It's just annoying, like, let me have you know, the two options that I want. You know, don't mess around. You gotta love that bubbly pepperoni. This this part, this, this uh, edge piece, crucial. Very crucial in Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut etiquette. Man, this is so blessed. I haven't had a Zaw this fire. I think a good while. So on a note about sound and quality and things like that, I present to you the Lumix G7. My new baby. Picked this guy up uh, a few days ago. I'm just waiting on a few things for it just to like maximize it. 4K camera. I've been messing around with it. The quality on it is so good so I'm so excited the quality of the videos once I get the mic for it and uh, I just need like a, the, this cable for it which I'm waiting on it's on order it's coming in like I'm jacked I cannot wait to start shooting both all these food videos, the cooking videos are gonna get so much doper. All the shots are gonna get so much thicker. I'm gonna start shooting other stuff. I can like start vlogging now, go to places, try food. I can shoot videos for, for my music, for 
for those pineapple lovers out there. So that's a game changer. And I'm turbo hyped, turbo excited for it. It's insane how good the quality is, like. I was just dicking around, taking some shots, some video, kind of like of myself and like some up close and like trying to like getting it to zoom and. It's just absolutely wild. Just like this pizza is right now. Out of control. Oh my god. I don't know why this meal is hitting so hard, but it is. You guys are probably noticing that I'm wearing this weird hat. This more pom-pom toque. Kind of an off-brand color for me. I don't usually wear blues or royal blues or Pepsi blues. But there's a reason why I got this and it says what it says and it is what it is is because my man ASMR addiction if you haven't checked him out go check him out smaller channel he's just trying to come up right now he's very consistent with his videos lately um, another Canadian guy I just randomly found his channel seems like a really nice down-to-earth good guy so I'm wearing this stuff and it reps my family name so I'm like yo I need some of that <clears throat> so I hit him on on a comment and he's like yo email me and we'll figure out getting you some of this stuff I'm like dope so we start talking on the email he's like yeah this is the company I work for I'll ask my boss, I'll see what I can get for you. And all I wanted was like a t-shirt or a hat or something, whatever. So he's like, I got you fam, I got you. I'm like, all right. Hits me up with the email, he's like, I just sent out the package, be on the lookout in the next week or so. so I've just been waiting around package comes in big box this man sent me a long sleeve tee a toque a hat a brimmed hat and a hoodie four pieces I'm like yo that's insane, man. That, there's no way that didn't cost you any money. Most employers are charging for uniform and extended uniform. I ain't shit free in this world. I'm like, yo, I'll send you the cost or whatever. Whatever fees you incurred. He's like, honestly, man, don't worry about it. I got you. It's like, he's like, it's all good. It's all love. I'm just like, what? Like, Merry Christmas to me. So thank you so much, man. Like, bless you. I hope your Christmas is great. If there's anything I can send you, I don't know. 
you let me know. But for those of you who have not checked this dude out, please hit his channel up, subscribe. Like he has great ASMR content and he's clearly just a very good human being. And so he deserves the support. So if any of you are listening to this, watching this, please go check out ASMR Addiction. Very good guy. I know I've been a little uh, light with the uploads, but it's all for good cause and good reason. Um, I ask for your patience with me. Just what's happening right now is like a my schedule kind of keeps not lining up the greatest with my situation. So it's like, I don't get the opportunity as much lately to film. I've had some weird times where like, when I do have the chance, I have to go do something else. And just some weird stuff kind of lining up. And then also I'm on this like mission right now to be very frugal and save a lot of money and I'm working more and I'm trying to save up all this money but it's all gonna come back around in the future on this channel. And you guys will see it in due time. It's just gonna be like a little while still, maybe five, six months or whatever. But like the upgrades that are gonna happen to me and this channel and everything and all my creative endeavors, when I execute on these savings goals and these financials and everything like that. I mean, it's already happening. Like I just bought this, not cheap. I'm doing really calculated, smart baby steps to get to where I want to be. And I see like the long haul ahead of me, but I see what's possible. And I'm just taking all these proper steps, but things are going to get increasingly so much better to the point where like it's going to be channel overhaul it's going to be multi-channel overhaul new, new stuff on the peripheries new places to subscribe new ideas just everything like the, the game is going to completely switch up in time i promise you that whole new settings just, yeah, new workspace, new everything. Like, it's all gonna be... very different, but for the better. So I'm super jazzed about it. Like, I'm just, like, I'm really, like... I'm super, like, excited about... Like, when you're... I've just been spending my days, like I have this like vision in my head and I keep picturing it. I keep envisioning all these things. And it's like, just that whole thing about manifestation. Like I'm already taking, like I've already executed on steps towards that manifestation. And like things are slowly but surely like piece by piece coming together and they're going to come together even more so. And I'm like, for the first time in a long time, I'm really like on my, sort of like discipline, discipline path, whoops, on how to get to where I want to go. And I feel like really psyched and happy and hopeful and very confident. what I'm going to do in the coming years but even in the coming like four or five six months so just know that my absence or my slowness is kind of due to a whole master plan 
that's actually going to like triple down, like times three the whole shit. So don't just don't get discouraged with me. Baby steps is the key. Patience and persistence is what I'm practicing. And to anybody out there who feels defeated or hopeless or whatever, like things are impossible, you can't achieve what you want to achieve, that's the message we're going to have to leave you with. That's like a whole damn chicken tender. Is envisioning it. Taking the first step and taking the step so on and so forth after that, but baby steps. One at a time, it can't happen too fast. You can't rush greatness. Anything that happens too fast usually goes away pretty fast, so it's worth building then build it. But building takes time. Can't build a building in a day. The long and short of it, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just take a step in the right direction. Just keep applying that pressure. You know, be committed, be confident. Stick to your plan, stick to your goals. You know, if you need to save money to get some things, save that. Live tight. Stop going out. Don't go drinking. Don't go to the movies. Don't order $30 of pizza. Like, this is a treat to myself. Make tight choices. Save that money. Buy a tool. You know what I mean? This was an expensive thing, but this is a tool that is potentially going to... The return on investment, ROI. This should have return on investment. I should be able to pay off this tool via what I'm going to use it for. You made it this far, you're a G. I'm about to bring out a little something something that we never do on the channel. And that there is called dessert. But what do we got here? What looks like a brain. It really does look like a brain. Cineparts. I never do dessert. But there's a first for everything, right? Alright. Hot. I had it in the oven this whole time really hot oh my god oh mm. pretty good see this is the reason I don't know I'm not like a huge dessert person oh good boy. oh who hot wow also I'm really full I've had enough dough I don't really love cinnamon either. I don't know, maybe that's weird, but it's not my favorite. Hold oh, on. That's too hot. I'm sorry. It's too hot, and I'm too full. I'll have it later. I will have a little more Pepsi, though. It is really good, but like I said, too hot, too full. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true. Peace. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with the dirty pizza hut, uh, ASMR for you. It's been a lot of ASMR lately, but uh, it works better for the roommate scenario. And if I'm being
I've been dieting. And I've used the ASMRs and other things to like satisfy a craving. Like water.
black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't you again. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm having some Pizza Hut again. I know, I had it like last week or two weeks ago, but I need it again. So, there's that. Pizza Hut comes with a bunch of stuff that I have to get set up. So, let's get it onto the board here. So, we got the Zaza. Next up, we got these boneless bites. Ah, oh, no. Sauce on the pants. I just did laundry yesterday. No, that is not chill. We must pour up a ranch. Brought my own bottle, of course. Brought some Frank's Red Hot to the party. And we must pour up. Today we're going full sugar Pepsi. Can't wait. Ooh wee. Welcome to the MGM Grand, Las Vegas, everybody. That's what we say every time now. Man. Oh my God, a nice cold Pepsi on ice. You can't go wrong. It's too good. Yes, please. Straight from the region of Burgundy, a Bordeaux blend, a Napa Valley classic. And we also got the Cinna, Cinna Bonds. Chuck them while they're hot. Looking nice, nice and Nikki Glazer. Lana Glazer, very glazed. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So what do we do? We got our pineapple pepperoni. Had to do it to him. We dunk a deep dip. You know what I'm saying? And we go as ins. This situation right now out of control and I forgot my napkin mm -mm -mm. that ladies and gentlemen is really something else right now It's extra good because I went out to a friend's birthday last night. So one might be able to imagine what my current state is. Shout out mushrooms and olives on pizza, so good. Salty and earthy. And to be frank, we franks it. Man, I forgot how good Frank's is. My favorite. The big bite eating videos are satisfying. Dude, I'm in Pepsi heaven right now. So, so good. So yeah, I guess I'll say in this one, um, just a big shout out to uh, those who bought merch. It was a very successful ca campaign. Raised up some capital and now I can order the piece of equipment that I've been needing to make music so shout out to all you guys who bought merch and then a couple people donated on the site too which was huge like so so thankful for that that's crazy like at checkout they donated more money so I will be buying musical gear to continue with my 
creation of music and passions and hobbies and things like that. Very, very uh, thankful for that. So that's amazing. I like the design of that, that logo, might be, might do it again, but uh, in regards to the merch, because I sold enough, they actually let me have, once you sell a certain amount, you can, they, they'll give you a store that you can have open. So I got a proof for that through that site, through Bonfire. So I might be able just to have like an ongoing site for that. And then I can change up the designs too. As the, you know, as we enter new, new times, new territory, new season, whatever, just coming up with the, some fresh designs. I actually already made like eight or nine different designs. I got so hyper about it the other day. And went design crazy for like the next almost like I guess I can release them all at once probably they're pretty cool I think some of you guys will be into them I basically try to make the designs um more just like universally friendly like you could wear it out of the house and people just be like oh that's a cool shirt where'd you get that like nothing too like in indicative of like mukbang or like or even black hoodie just like the whole just stay true with like on these other ones I have certain like graphics that are going to be on there like on one there's a burger one there's a pizza one there's a hot dog like it's just a little chest emblem and stuff so just try to make it a little more like you could just wear it out of the house and it seems like like normal you know not too like I've got a dirty little secret I lay in bed late at night and watch eating videos and this is the shirt you know this is hitting right now so hard I forgot about the Cinnabons. I'm such a not a dessert person. As you guys can tell by now, I never eat desserts on the channel, which I'm, I'm meaning to switch up. I'm going to implement some sweet stuff soon. I just keep me like, not getting around to it. I mean to do it, and then I'm like, nah, I'm craving this more. Like, I always just like fall victim to my crave that day. I'm like, sure, it'd be cool to do like a big banana split or something. But then when it comes time, I'm like, nah, I want like a burger. But that is an area where I lack sweets, desserts. There's a chick named Salted Caramel. She eats desserts like all the time. And Megan McCollum is so dessert. Okay, 
that being said, let's have a Cinnabon. I must have a little Peter North, if you will. Ooh, gooey, so gooey. There you go. Oh. Mm hmm Good. Really good. Soft, hot, tender. Cinnabon pasta. Popping, but just like me, I can't. Eat, I can eat two, and then it's like it's too much, too sweet. My palate just does not handle sugar very well. Like the, like in that form. Yeah, it's enough. I'll tell you what's hitting it out of the park right now is, is this ice cold Pepsi. Probably my favorite part of the meal. Okay, where am I at here? Do I pour one more? Have one more slice and call it a an evening? I think I may. That's definitely my magic number with pizza. I'm usually good for about four slices. That's like the perfect number. I can always push it past like a slice or two, but four is like the magic pizza number. Right now I'm entering the territory of lay down, take a nap, Ville. When you go further. The belly ache, upset tummy. Mm -hmm. Best part. If I could get it in my mouth, that's it. So I think good thing. A good thing about Pizza Hut too is it is good leftover. It. it it translates well in the, in the leftover stages of its life. Okay, well, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Back with another one today. As you can see from the title, we got the hut. We got nothing but the Pizza Hut. And it is looking on another level of delicious. And uh, I am just so incredibly in the mood for it. Uh, I, even though I had a Pizzone like a week ago, it just didn't really do what I needed it to do in terms of my crave for the hut. And this is everything I need. Just so some chicken bites, a perfectly cooked double cheese pepperoni pizza, and if you're gonna have a Pizza Hut, you must, it's a requirement, quintessential, crucial, a nice ice cold Coke. Full sugar, no diet, has to happen, full sugar, because if you're having this meal, it's like, you might as well just have the whole thing. I mean, go for the gusto. I brought some buffalo sauce down as well, for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, but you know we may we may use it and today we're just going straight mukbang style I got nothing pre-planned and I just want to really really enjoy this and just chop it up with you on just some basic stream of consciousness human type stuff so all right unless I do it this guy back here is looking great so we might as well just go in with that it's you know pizza is just it's Pizza Hut. You can't. It's like McDonald's. It's like. It's 
It's its own amazing thing. Wow. That's doing it for me. Play it for you. Rest is for me. Ken Domic food reviews. Any of you watch Ken Domic? I used to watch him hard. That's actually a little bit how I got into this whole realm of YouTube was through food, food, food reviews. I used to watch so many food reviewers. Joey's World Tour. Any of you guys watch Joey's World Tour? His comment section is out of control. He's a bit of a meme, but I actually like don't mind the guy. Like I hate certain aspects of like sometimes in his like just he, when he's too loud. But for the most part, he actually seems like not a bad dude. All right, let's try one of these chicken bites. Yeah, whatever. Let's just keep it messy. Who cares at this point? So that's honey barbecue. Straight up. Try it with some ranch. So good with the ranch. Yo, so actually, I've been meaning to say this, and I'm not trying to bring haterade, because I'm mostly positive about everything, and you know, I'm just pretty much a positive person. But this is me trying to help you out, and I just I don't get it. Maybe some people in their audience find it like funny, and like intriguing. But, like, I just, for some reason, I can't stand it, especially when they've edited other parts of their video. So it's like, I know they have an editing program. When mukbangers and, or whoever, like, people eating eating or whatever, they, they do, like, the whole, like, the, oh, this could be the thumbnail. And then they do, like, the stupid, like, and they don't edit it out. <laughs> just edit it out. But maybe your audience likes that. So maybe that's a point of your video that specifically your audience likes. I don't know. It's just so awkward to me watching the like cringy, like freeze frame thumbnail moment. Does anybody else agree? It's just especially weird to me when they they add like intros and they have outros like they edit like it's clear that they edit I just don't know understand like what, just snip that part out too maybe no anyways don't like being a hater so Let's not do that. Wow, this meal is on point. Check that. That's nice. The reason why I actually needed this so bad was I was watching Bart and Fresh. He just uploaded like a, a pepperoni pizza, a Pizza Hut video with, with wings and stuff. And I just, his pizza looks so good. 
and I had just been thinking about it for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I was just like, I got to pull the trigger. He, however, did something that threw me way off. It was dip a, a Krispy Kreme donut in ranch. I was so thrown off by that move. I just can't be, see like a sweet thing being good in ranch. Really doesn't make sense to me, but hey, maybe. Maybe that's a vibe. Okay, let's do a little chicken pizza. That's good. But how is this? Is this good? Definitely one of my favorite things about the hut was that crispy pan fried edge on that dough. So key. Well, two things. Now that I have room here it's for a little bit of a sauce area for the buffalo, we will try that. And secondly, I just realized I totally forgot to even mention my whole new like background setup. It's like more like a chill dude vibes. Not completely blacked out. It has like a good, nice chill energy. I think it's going to lend well to the videos. I'm super into it. <clears throat> I also slightly feel like a like a hot ASMR girl, like one of those popular ones, like GB and that, that have like the, like the like the backlighting and the nice like low lit with the front and everything. Like I'm very becoming a GB, you know? So. I just feel very official. Buffalo sauce, very, very good. Gotta do the mix up though. That's where it's at. But yeah, I got my my foam, my sound treatment. Got some more equipment coming from Amazon for music production. Got the two times spicy noodles coming. I grabbed that uh, that game with the Jelly Bellies called Bean Boozled. It's like disgusting flavor roulette. So I'm very excited and intrigued to see how that's gonna go. And another surprise, in that video with the bean boozled, I might have a special guest. You will see who upon the day of the dropping of the video. These lights are sick too. I can like make them dance and like change colors. Like I can just select. Like, do I want red? What's up, red? You want some green? I personally like these, like, pink ones. Kind of pinky purple. Got the clear, too, just like the regular. But pinky purple is where it's at for me. Because I'm a softie. I 
I just think it accent, accents the vibe a little better. <clears throat> All right. I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to feel full. But we must have a spicy, sweet buffalo chicken. Mm, yeah, that's good. Okay, where am I at? Yeah, I could do one more chicken for sure. Maybe one more piece. One more chicken and one more piece, maybe. A ranch. Mmm. So good. Pizza Hut is on their game today. I would have to say. Okay, maybe one more. It's gonna be tough. I am going to regret it, but we will do it. In the name of internet eating gluttony. I've already come this far with this channel. Can't back down now. You know what I mean? The internet is forever. And uh, I've subjected myself to that, so yeah, it is what it is. It's actually the funnest shit, though. Like, I love doing this. I don't, like, it's so, it's like, I don't know. I, I, people, like, some people just get mad at it, and, like, I don't know. It's just, like, having fun. <laughs> Other people like to, like, they just enjoy it, they relax and just, like, have, like, fun entertainment, like, I have fun doing it, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> so I understand why some people just waste their energy getting mad at things in the world, like, that, it's like, just don't, and don't watch it, or <laughs> don't waste moments of your life. watching things that you just that you don't like I don't get why you'd ever do that to yourself do you like torturing yourself I guess so and if that's the case for you here <laughs> enjoy your torture for the, however more long you watch this video <laughs> That's just weird. All right. I'm definitely at the point. I cannot, uh, no, this is, I can't even talk. I can't push forward any further. So good though. But yeah. Super excited for these uh, these new videos coming up soon. Almost at the 50k mark too. What a milestone! It's taken so long it seems. Um, but a big shout out and thank you to all you new subscribers because there's been quite a bit lately, and uh, obviously the OGs and everybody who's been with me along the way. Super uh, grateful for it to be honest. Uh, to get to 50k though, it's like. I want to hit that hundred at some point, but that's another 50 away. It's like, it took me this long to get here. It's like, <laughs> it's a long road ahead, but I got nothing better to do. <laughs> so you know what it is till the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace. Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. Back with another one today. It's a mukbang of the hut. I had to get it. I had to do it. I was just in a deep crave for Pizza Hut. And once it's in your mind, in your brain, 
there's nothing to do but to just give in to that splurge of that crave because it's just it's one of those things it's pizza hut you know what i mean it's just like once it's there you can't escape it so we got a large uh half plain cheese half cheese and pepperoni i got a well done extra cheese and it's looking fire it just showed up real 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 quick and like i don't know it's just it's uh, let's do good let's do good <laughs> what was that laugh what was that laugh anyways you guys know me i come equipped i stay strapped i got some ranch and i got some barbecue sauce and i also have well let me get those ready i also have pepperoncinis lately i've been back on that pepperoncini tip i just need to get into this because it's hot and fresh and ready. Like, it's super hot and fresh and ready. Like, this is per. Oh, my God. It's too good. So, up close for you. I got the Pando, of course. You have to. And, uh... There it's... <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's a cheese string. Uh, once again, as per my weirdo self... I love pepperoncini pickling liquid. I poured some of that into the ranch to thin it out, and I think it made it look so, or like just gonna be so much better. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Is it weird that I kind of like this ranch more water, like watery like that? I feel like I've watched, um, some like California mukbangers. And their ranch looked thinner. I kind of like it. A little more soupy. I cannot lie. That's a future forward thing. I might go, I might keep doing that. I like that. I got to tell you guys, this is already just hitting, like hitting, crazy hitting. Look at those, that leoparding. That's actually a, a true technical term for uh, the cheese, Lep leoparding, those spots. That barbecue sauce is sweet baby rays, by the way. It is the sweet and spicy. And I gotta tell you, the spicy in the sweet and spicy, in the sweet baby rays, I didn't expect it to be to have that much kick. Oh my god. You guys have no idea. 
this piece is on a level right now. A little bit of spicy in the sweet and spicy. Is much more than I thought it would be. My barbecue sauce truly has a legit kick, a legit kick to it. be real with y'all today we didn't pour up a beverage because i literally wanted to get to this pizza that fast because it's all about hot pizza and i didn't even want to take the time that it takes to pour a drink so i have this pre-made one that i already had off camera Okay, right now I could say this, first off, there's a mangled piece here that I'm like feeling some types of way about, like I just want to get it because I hate it's like aesthetic and I hate that it's, mildly killing my vibe. So I just want to deal with it. On another note. What I need to say, want to say is, <clears throat> this is the best Pizza Hut I've had in, I'm gonna go right ahead and say, a cool decade. This shit right here, <laughs> look at that, the back of that, that crispy crust. This shit right here hits different. Hitting so different. This shit right here reminds me or confirms why. Pizza Hut is as successful as it is. When you're getting it at prime, at like it in its prime, it can't be <clears throat> contested. It can't be played with. And 
whoever invented this, like whoever figured this out, Loki Heike, a genius. Real shit. Can't be said in any other way. The dough is genius. The oiled pan, the frying of the dough. The cheese, the sauce, blend, everything. Even look. The cooking... process the way that the pepperoni crisps is genius and I myself I'm here for it I've been loving that saying lately <laughs> I say it way too much I'm here for it it's a very basic B, very internet based basic B lingo. But in this life, I'm sure you do it too. Do you ever just find that you get addicted to like sayings? I always get addicted to sayings. Or to like lean go for like a bit and then it fades away it'll eventually go away but I do get addicted to the, these things <clears throat> a couple weeks maybe a month and then it subsides holy okay well I just went full crush mode on that and I'm at the point where, in my heart of hearts, I know, like, I'm done. Like, I'm basically done. <laughs> I feel full-ish. Like, I'm not quite fully full, but I'm full. But because Pizza Hut messes around and cuts these little shark tooths, that allows me to know that I can have this one more shark tooth slice. And then call it a video. Which is weird because I feel mad guilty. I feel like this video is like short and went fast. It's because I was star I was starving. And because this was just too hot to touch. Like, it's so good. I had to just smash. But I only have so much stomach ability. I'm not one of these people with uh, the endless chamber. There's some people out here who are just taking in way too much food into their belly. And I just, I don't get, I just don't understand how physically it's possible. I could crush half a large apparently. And that leaves me feeling, I'm not at the edge of like extinction right now, but I'm definitely, it's like horizontal is in my future. In terms of body positioning, you know what I mean? Things like that. So, I gotta wrap that there because I just, I can't continue. But that was way too good. Till the next one though, you know what to do.
eat good, live well. Andrew. <laughs> Peace.
black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Welcome to this installment of Hitting Up the Hut for one last time before it's all locked down and everybody's on the quarren. Okay, so it's my favorite. We know this. If we've been here long enough, we know that I love Pizza Hut and uh, I just want to get one last one in before I can't. Okay, so we must get into this magnifico creation right about meow. So let's pop the top and see what we're working with. I'll give you the viewer's choice angle. Dun, 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 dun. Looking banger or what? I don't know. I can't tell yet. We'll see. Ooh, hello you. Hello beautiful. <laughs> hello beautiful. A mukbanger's pro move. Drop your walls. Drop the guard. And slide around out. Quick escape. Quick escape. You guys know me. I got sauces on deck. I got the runny ranch. And I made myself like a medium buffalo style sauce for this. And of course, before we do anything more, we must ba -ba 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 pour. We got the iceberg on deck. And we have our favorite friend, the Dr. The Peppa. So we're going to crack attack that boy real quick. And while we're pouring that, I want to bring attention to saying thank you to those who have purchased with the coldest water back here. This is the 21 ouncer that I'm rocking. That's my favorite kind of kind of size. Very, you know, life friendly, fitting in your gym bag, fitting in the car cup holder, doing things for you that other water bottles just can't. You know what I mean? Keeping your water glacial or any other fluids up to 36 hours. Do you know what I mean? So I just want to say a big shout out to all of you who have actually gone through and shop with them because when you do that, I do get kickbacks and that helps me in my life. So I'm very, very grateful and very, very thankful to you. If you feel so inclined to do the same as other people who have done so, you can go down below in the description and there are two links. One gets you 10% off your entire order. The other is to enter into a giveaway to get a free bottle because they give away bottles every week. So let's hit this, then let's hit this and have a good old time. That tastes like the world is coming to an end. As we know it. Okay. Yes, no. I just I gotta eat. I gotta get to the hot pie. You know what I mean? This is looking like the hit for me. Um, I will explain what's on here i got a half and half situation so this is the ten dollar pizza of the day online that was a deal um it was canadian so canadian is pepperoni bacon and mushrooms and i just made it so that half was canadian and half was pepperoni so this side has the bacon and mushrooms it seems like they didn't put the pepperoni on the whole thing like i wanted but it doesn't really matter to me i just definitely wanted to have one side Pepper on you, pepper on you west by itself. And we got the runny, runny ranch today. So we go. Is it bliss? Oh, yes. Amazing. I was looking at a wing deal with a pizza, but I wanted to keep the focus on the pie. Also, <clears throat> I have wings in the fridge. That I'm gonna use tomorrow, so I felt weird ordering wings knowing that I have those. <clears throat> All right, let's go for the straight up pepperoni. 
into the medium style sauce. If you want to know how to make that, I'll tell you right now. Ketchup, barbecue, and a dash of <clears throat> any hot sauce. I put buffalo. Frank's buffalo. The ketchup and the barbecue give it vinegary sweet. The barbecue gives it depth of flavor, spices, things like that. Buffalo just gives it a little heat. And Bob's your uncle. It's amazing. Highly recommend you spinning up a batch. I gotta tell you, man, <clears throat> the hut is such a treat. Those bacon chunks flying everywhere. We gotta do the crossbreed. You know I had to cross cross dip. Cross contaminate. In the most delicious way possible. good long while since I've had anything but pepperoni and cheese on pizza. I don't love to overcomplicate my pies. I do like bacon. And I love mushrooms, so can't go wrong. I gotta say, that's a pretty good deal. Ten bucks. Uh, with delivery, everything, it was 17 at the door and then I tipped the dude five bucks So, you know before tax for 17 bucks delivered We still can get an economical pie I thought those days were long gone I also just lucked out that the pizza of today was a good a good pie And I'm pretty sure my driver was stoned as shit. <laughs> Which is fine. Do your thing, buddy. But we did the transaction. And the receipt was printing. I handed him the machine back. And he turned around, around to leave. And he hadn't given me the pizza yet. And I was like, yo, bro, I need the pizza. And he was like, it's like, I just woke up. I just started my shift. Wakey bakey, yeah. Huh? 
I see you, bro. I used to live that wake and bake life. <clears throat> to be honest, I hated waking and baking. Usually. Back when I smoked. I felt like it just turned me to a zombie like immediately. And then the rest of the day. It was just an absolute write off. Get, you get burnt out, get your headache. Next thing you know, you just want to nap. I knew some people who could fully function though. Wake up, they would get baked, they'd like work out. about their day and just kind of maintain you know hit a hit here hit a hit there just kind of maintain throughout the day I never could do that <clears throat> just like I am the world's worst day drinker like I am not the guy that you take on like a Mexico trip and you just like get crushed all day on the beach with the boys like Have some day drinks. I'm toasted in a few hours, especially if the sun's out. You kidding me? I'll be napping early. I actually had a rule in place. Even still to this day, I have it in place. But throughout most of my drinking career, I have a rule that I can't pour my first drink until the sun goes down. I'm just that much of a night night person. If I'm drinking and it's dark out, I can like get into the energy. I can get into the the vibe of like I can keep it going, you know what I mean? I can go for hours if it's nighttime. I can go all night. I don't know how people go on like all inclusives. And just crush in the sun. This fair weather <clears throat> skin was not designed for that lifestyle. Pizza Hut always never fails. They always have a, a baby piece somewhere along the way. I like them though. They remind me of the Pizza Hut buffet. Uh, they always had like the little baby slices that you could just crush. Very nostalgic. Man, no. 
nothing can duplicate. The flavors of, of, of Pizza Hut. There's something so special, special about their sauce. Whatever herbs and spices they use. Their cheese, the way the pepperoni crisps. This dough. It's just different. That was a medium pie, by the way. It's my favorite thing to order because I just know it's not going to go to waste. I can confidently eat a whole medium and, like, be pretty much perfect. I, although pizza does keep, you know what I mean? Like, if you finish, like, if you have a large or an extra large or whatever, you can snack on it through the night, you know what I mean? So, but I don't know. I just like to have it hot fresh right there, crush it, and be done. So... I loved it. Hope you guys did too. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. It's legitimately a frustrating thing to eat. See? Did you just see that piece of salad frog leap like it was alive? That's what you deal with. The salads. It's not our fault that we eat the bullshit. It's Mukbang's fault. Uh. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. It's the hut and it's a gut feeling, baby. Welcome to another episode of me eating one of my favorite things on the planet. It is the pizza. It is the hut. It just hit the door. It's piping hot. I'm ready to hit it. I'm so incredibly hungry incredibly hungry that's how incredibly hungry i'm incredibly hungry i'm gonna pop into it it's a uh it's a meal prize pack pop into it real quick it is a extra cheese pan crust pepperoni west light sauce that's how i do it around these parts light sauce and we're gonna have to pop it out of its chamber and get it here and get it ready to go in here okay for all y'all that don't know break down the box and slide that's a mukbangers pro move Okay, so when I said I got a combo pack, that's what I mean. I got a Caesar salad. I already mixed it all up. Caesar salads or salads in general are a mukbanger's nightmare. Even though I love salad, it does make videos very, very difficult. I also, with this, came five wangs, boneless wangs. These are not wings at all. They're just boneless chicken bites. So I don't know why I'm saying wings, but those are honey barbecue. You take a look, you enjoy it. Definitely got to get those out, put them around the table somewhere. Uh, maybe we'll just sporadically place them on the right here. Oh my God, you guys, that's looking so good. I'm fired up for this because The Hut is like my favorite hit. You guys know this about me probably, I would imagine. The Hut is my favorite hit. I love Caesar salads. I love chicken. I love pizza and I love way too many sauces, by the way, by the by. I've got a four pack of sauces here. I got a four pack of sauces here, uh, ranch, sour cream, barbecue, and hot sauce. And I'm so ready just to get into this situation right now. This is a whole last meal ready to be a thing. And I got to dive into the ideal piece, the corner slice, the cornerstone of everybody's life. Hit it with the sour cream, get a thumbnail and break you off with that first perfect bite. Stupid. Stupid good. I'm lost for words. You have no idea. It's so magical. Barbecue. That's the most magical.
Pizza Hut is such a different animal. Okay, I'm gonna take it up a notch. I'm gonna get crazy right now, and I'm gonna do something unorthodox that maybe you've never seen, and I've never done it. We are venturing into new territory together. So take my hand, come with me, and let's do some psycho pizza creationism together. You and I, hello, how are ya? Come for the ride. Okay, well, as y'all know, I got some Caesar salad. Had to hit it naked and afraid one time. Okay. But now what we're going to do, and this is definitely a shout out to my ex-girlfriend. She loved, first of all, Pizza Hut and everything else, but also Caesar salad and pizza together in a bite. She introduced me to this. So shout out to her. Also. I am going to take it to the level of one of these. You know what? I'll just put it in like that. I don't even have to rip it up. One of these chicken bites. The next thing is what sauce? How about a little more of the honey barbecue? Before I even bite into that, I just need you to crave it. I'm going to hit it with a dab of ranch. Just a dab. And take this beautiful golden love and make. That's disappointing. A Caesar salad, chicken, pizza sandwich. I feel like nom nom Sammy boy right now. If you don't know who he is, he is the king of insane food combo creations. And this feels like something he would definitely make. It's full savage. And I'm into it. I just had two croutons attack me and go flying to the floor. It's a different level. I've never taken it to with Pizza Hut. But I'm glad I did. at least one time in my life. Because that was authentically some life-changing shit. Real spit. All right. 
I gotta try one of these chicken pieces just by itself. No pizza sandwich with some ranch. Mm -hmm. Legitimate. I will have a little bit of salad on its own. I promise you this. Ask any mukbanger. Salads are a nightmare. They're just not conducive to mukbangs. I love salad. But it's just it's too finicky. It's too many moving parts. It doesn't fit on the board. It's not easily eatable, like a piece of pizza or a piece of chicken. There's just too many things going on. It's messy, it's annoying, but I love it. So, don't get mad at your mukbangers for not having a salad. First, it doesn't sell. People don't want to see it. And second, it's legitimately a frustrating thing to eat. See, did you just see that piece of salad frog leap like it was alive? You know what I mean? That's what you deal with, with salads. Well, it's not our fault that we eat the bullshit. It's Mukbang's fault. Okay? Uh. Regarding salad and pizza, there's one thing I'll tell you for certain and for free is that it's a traumatic memory for me, but every time I hear pizza and salad together in the same sentence, I think of my first job at Eastside Mario's in Toronto. Literally one of the most, the busiest Eastside Mario's in all of probably North America, to be honest with you, because it was located right by the Rogers Center. Which, ironically, I would later quit that job to go work at the Rogers Center. And that Rogers Center job actually fucking, like, saved my life. <laughs> but also because of the ridiculously easy money that I made there fueled a lot of terrible decisions and a lot of rough nights. But anybody in my audience, it's possible that you may have worked at Eastside Mario's. And if it was a busy one, and you work in the kitchen, you know the trauma of being on like pizza salad or even just in the kitchen in general. It's crazy. I worked in a three to 400 seat restaurant. It's going to be nuts regardless. But to be on pizza salad, imagine a restaurant being full of three to 400 people and you're one man at a salad station and one of the draws of this Italian restaurant is <laughs> pepperoncinis unlimited comes with your meal unlimited all you can eat garden salad Caesar salad and bread called home loaf it's like garlic bread I worked every station in my duration. I'm a rapper and I don't even know it. I 
I am actually kind of a rapper. If you go down to my description of the comments, you'll see my most recent song posted there. But back to working at Eastside Mario's. Imagine that. It was insanity. Soul crushing, overwhelming insanity. Literally, one guy on a salad station to serve a restaurant full of three to four hundred people. Servers constantly coming to get salads. <laughs> These just tossed together, refillable, shitty fucking salads, although they are delicious, but there's no quality. They're just talking together so fast. Pure insanity. I worked every single station there from pizza salad uh, over to convection, fry grill, and fucking saute. And they were all psycho positions, to be honest. Each had its own unique kill yourself terribleness to it. I started on convection, which is like <clears throat> convection means oven, so you had a convection oven, so you would you would make nachos, you would make sandwiches, paninis, uh, you would make like like a lot of apps, but you're also responsible for home loaf, and home loaf is this garlic bread like this, looks like a mini football, and that's what everybody gets at the start of their meal. So you got to be super cognizant of like having home loaf on the go at all times. I just remember being so deep in the shits and uh, that's kitchen term when you're in the shits, in the weeds. Just being so deep in the shits with orders and just servers like coming over the ledge, just being like home loaf, where's home loaf? I need more home loaf. And you just be like, if I hear the word home loaf one more fucking time, I'm going to go into the back, grab as many knives as I can find, and murder every single fucking person in this restaurant. <laughs> like, if I legit hear home loaf one more time, I'm either quitting, killing myself, or going postal. It's that simple. Shut the up about home loaf. Insane. I had so many shifts there where I was like an opener. I'd go in at like 11 o'clock, get the line set up. We'd have a psycho rush at lunch. I'd be there over dinner service because it's like an 11 to 8 or whatever, like an 8, 9 hour shift. I'd be over the dinner service. I was supposed to be done at, you know, 7, 8 o'clock, whatever. But we were always like, somebody called in or quit, like always short on staff. And then it's like, well, if you want to keep your job, you have to stay here for 15, 16 hours. Like, they would hit you with that. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I fulfilled my shift. They're like, well, we're short and we need the help. I'm like, yeah, but my shift is my shift. Like, what? that's what I'm scheduled. If I leave right now, you're going to fire me? They're like, they would always like tote that over your head. And I'd be like, What? So I'd stay over dinner service and then we get crushed again and again and again over and over for like on certain, you know, there'd be like conventions and games and it's Toronto. It's nuts. It's millions of people. We just get murdered constantly. And eventually I'd just look at the clock and be like, wow, I've been here 15 hours and this isn't stopping. And it's like, when do I get to leave? And I used to like, because I was like, you know, young and so desperate to pay rent and shit and I couldn't lose my job, you know what I mean? So I would literally go to the bathroom and have like a meltdown. I would like cry for a bit, like a frustration cry more than anything. And then I get back to it. I just go work, I hate my fucking life. Uh, and that pretty much right there was the, was, I would work shitty jobs for, for a lot longer after that, but 
that was the point in which I realized, like, I don't want to fucking take answers from anybody. I don't want to work for anybody. I don't want anybody to threaten me with employment. I don't want anybody to threaten to fire me. Like, I just knew at that point, I'm like, this is not, this isn't it. <laughs> this is not the ticket. I need to think for myself. I need to find a way out of this shit. Because I, this is, this is not chill. It is not. It's not even ethical. It's not even human. Like just being like threatened to get fired, spending sixteen hours in the shits, getting paid like shit for a megacorp. Ha 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 ha! Laughable, laughable. But hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And in that in that moment, I had to do what I had to do, so I couldn't survive without it. So. And I didn't want to lose my job now. I'm sure if I hit the labor board up and was like, yo, they're threatening to fire me over some shit and like I, I fulfill my shift, they would probably get in shit. But I was young, dumb, naive, and just didn't know any better. So, and, it, and that's a hard battle to fight too, like going to the labor board and just the, all that shit. That's a fucking, it's a nightmare. I'd rather just stay the eight hours and make more money, I guess, but be burnt out. All right, I'm full as balls. I don't really understand what this video was, but it was something. It was all over the zone. I'm rough. I'm very hot and shit, and I don't even know what's going on with my life. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, and don't work for the fucking man. Come on, don't even play like you wouldn't smash that to your face. Come on now, put it up in ya, get it up in ya. It's a Mock Bangers promo, we've all seen it on a channel before. It's a Mock Bangers promo, bruh. Do they never send me it fully sauced? All right, y'all, what's good with y'all? Y'all really truly know what it is. It's your pizza champion, the king of Pizza Hut, the best pizza eater on the internet. I'll back at it once and again. And I'm not gonna lie, last night I went on live and I got fadoed. And at this age, when you get fadoed, what you have to do is mix yourself a new one in the morning to feel good, right? You get to an age where you need a little hair to dog gay. You know, last night's calling, last night's toxicity to retoxify your system currently to make you feel a little better. So we did that. Is that straight vodka? It might be. Oh my goodness gracious me. Anyways, I guess that's... That can't be straight vodka. If it is, I don't know. I don't want to know it. But before we do anything more, we must pour a little bit of bubble. And then we live our best lives. Oh. Well, that's tough. All right. So as y'all already know, I'm the best pizza eater on the internet. And today we got the Pizza Hut extra cheese light sauce with the pepperoni west. And we got the honey barbecue chicken bites. Check that out, easy. And so we gotta go in for a bite. That's all that's left to do is we need to smash this za 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 za. And we have the dip from Pizza Hut as well. This is the ranch. Mm. Though it's still hot, no cheese pull today. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. And we do what we do. Now, there is a subscriber of mine. Who said in the comments recently, bruh, what happened to the pepperoncinis? 
Don't think I lost you. I still got you on the pepperons. It's just that. I moved. It was COVID season. And your guy just ran out. I hadn't restocked, I hadn't replenished. But don't think. For even one second of your life or mine that I wasn't going to hit you with a boneless bite and a pepper genie at some point. Come on now. Mm. Look at that. So clutch. The best, most perfect sauce for wings at Pizza Hut is 100% the honey barbecue. Okay. Speaking of barbecue, this is barbecue. It's a home blend. And we're going to douse a slice early. And we're going to put a little Franks on it, a little hot sizzity sauce. But beyond that, we're going to hit it with that dip, and you're going to get a good look at it. And you're going to go full craver. If you're one of these people out in the universe, and I know you exist, who say, oh, Pizza Hut, it ain't really got it like that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Look at this carnival dough. Look at the cheese. Look at these discs of pepperoni. Made by the gods themselves. In terms of crispiness. Brabra, guy guy, my homie. I have no idea. Who it is you're referencing or what you're even talking about. Way too fantastic. Come on.
And as we start to feel lightly sober, we say to you, last night ain't over. Yes. <laughs> That's strong. Yes, I'm not talented. I write songs. Go to the link in the bio, my guy. -o. I got three down there for you. On my music. Sure, I ain't Prince. I don't exist with the best of them, but I'm pretty good. Check me out, my guy. That said, though, for real, I was a toaster last night. And last night I went live. And of course, as per going live on any platform, I'm drinking. I had drinks. Many. And I got to spill my guts. I got to just talk real shit. Which is amazing. So thank you all for being there. I'm being supportive in that. I don't personally love to therapy session on the people who want to come and ask me questions. And I want to answer all your questions. But sometimes your questions lead to a therapy session. And you should take pride in that. If your question was that good and I, and I went off for like 20 minutes about it, it means it was a good ass question. <clears throat> but it's a gangster piece. Perfect trifecta. I really appreciate those lives, man. When you're able just to connect with your people who, who follow you and Have that notification bell on. They're deep. And you get linked in together. And you're able to just go off and have a deeper connectivity point. I love that shit. I will say that's a hard point with me in lives is like, on one hand, I want to answer questions and entertain and be like that. But on the other hand, because I don't get to express what I want to express in these videos on YouTube, I can weirdly do it on live. Right? And just pop off. But then it's like I'm ignoring the chat. So I always, I always battle with that, but. I do at the end of the day always love everything that comes of those I 
just feels like such an intimate like understanding kind of like therapy session for me but also hashing of the details of like what you guys want to know right these little abrasive edges that you're like sanding down by me answering these questions that you have that you can't get to me on a regular basis And so in those moments, I'm able to kind of shave those down for you. I don't know. <clears throat> Certain lives kind of go bad sometimes. They just don't feel that good. And then certain lives just go like the right people were in there. I had the right energy. And it becomes like this magic, this magical time. That you can never recreate and or duplicate which is dope that said though I'm crushed I cannot finish anymore I'll save these for later I'll definitely eat them later absolutely I never lie about that because a couple of drinks maybe a nap wake up smash two and two be having a good life so hope you guys enjoyed that one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay tuned <laughs> hello 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 is it a pro mukbangers move every time that we do pizza it is a pro mukbangers move you just watch it real quickly here isn't it Once again, come on, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's the well done light sauce, extra cheese, pepperoni West underneath, apparently, in this situation. All right, yo, what up, bro? What is truly and good with a y'all? Back with another one. Quick and easy and essential. Someone in the comments recently on a live stream, I believe it was, said, hey, man. Can you do another cringy but cravy Pizza Hut video? And I said to myself in my head, well, Pizza Hut is my favorite. And uh, yes, I can. Because sometimes in these videos, when you just shush it and mush it, it's all for the best. So these are for those who love just the smash of the food and the za and the life force energy of the delicious, terrible, but amazing, awesome food. And uh, that's what this video is going to be all about. So from here on out, we need to shush, 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 shush.
Okay. Yo, what is good with y'all? Back with a classic video. It's been so long since I've had a nice Pizza Hut muck in my life, but uh, a mild departure from what we usually do. We usually do a just pepperoni, but today I didn't want to pay like a million dollars for the meal that I would have to get to get that. And also it comes in a square, the one that I was going to get. And I was like, I need triangles today. Okay. Tell me down below. Does a square cut pizza ruin pizza? Does it need to be triangular or does it a square matter? Cause I think it does matter. And today I wanted these little triangular fingers. So anyways, this is a triple crown it's called. And I got it because they had large favorites for $15.99. So it came out to like 20 bucks and uh, it's pepperoni, green peppers and mushrooms, which I like all of them. And, um, you know, we're going to graduate from a child style of pizza to a little bit more of an adult pizza today. Now, and so for the first time in a long time, before we do anything more, we must pour. So here we go. Fresh glass of ice. I got the Diet Pepsi on deck, ready to go. And it's been a while since we've done this. Nice and slow. Fizz at the top, doing its thang, 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 thang. While we're doing that, of course, we must mention the coldest water. Shout out to them, best sponsor in the world, I swear to God. Also, a really good product. Also, once again, shout out to you guys for uh, going through and purchasing. I just received some of my commissions the other day, and you guys have been buying up. So, like, I'm just always forever indebted and grateful for you for actually uh, going through and getting a bottle. And I, I really hope you enjoy them because. I'm like real real spit i know i drink through this cup on here and that's mainly because of ice and being see-through it's a mukbang like we want to see the thing but i use this all the time when i go walking uh, i've been bringing it to the beach and stuff all summer it keeps things really really cold so you can save 10 percent down below code hoodie in my links in my description and uh let's get to this pie now you guys know that I used to always come equipped with the Runny Ranch. We got that. And we're bringing back the pepperoncinis, of course, as per usual. And uh, if you're hearing something outside, this annoying sound, that is my weird neighbor who... This is my aggressively weird neighbor who needs to live in the country. He has a, a forerunner, quad, whatever. It's loud as shit. And he drives it around the neighborhood. So thanks, buddy. Cool. How about just not do that in the city? Not really required. Here he comes again. Just ripping around the neighborhood on a quad. Why? And please, like... Oh! Oh! In the city, though? Couldn't just not do that? All right, well, now that he's quieted down and chilled out, let's go ahead and do what we always have to do. Dip it in way too much runny ranch. You guys know I got the runny ranch. That drips good. This bite, this ranch bite, is dedicated to Chicken Nugget. If you're watching, you know who you are. This one's for you. <laughs> Killing it. The cook on it is great. Still quite warm. Not quite cheese string Polish, but. Still really good. Mmm. Now, full transparency, I asked you guys on the community tab to help me pick a meal from a hangover, and it was Pizza Hut. That one, and you asked me to talk, or I asked you about what you want me to talk about, and predominantly it was Y'all being nosy about my house, my the buying of a house. 
So I can get to that. But this isn't the hangover day. This is the next day. I'm not hungover currently. Um, I was going to do that video hungover, but the hangover actually set in way harder after I asked than I thought. And I ended up just going back to sleep <laughs> and like surviving more or less. So um, I'm getting to this video, but I'm not hungover, which is honestly better in my opinion. So, all right. Before we do anything else, in terms of like stories and talking, I do want to do this one thing. I brought these crispy onions. I found them at the dollar store. Turns out they're awesome. And I actually just want to spoon on some of this ranch onto a piece as like an adhesive layer and hit it with crispy onions. Oh, my neighbor's back at it again. Cool guys, love them. My favorite guy. But a crispy onion ranch bite. Whoa. Taking it to new heights. Man. That crispy texture on there. Out of control good. Mm -mm. Way too good. I haven't had a dirty hot meal like this in a good while. So <clears throat> we're here for it. I got to make another one of those absolutely immediately again, for sure. Because it was that good. Funny because French's makes a brand of these. In the grocery store, they're very popular. And uh, they were always kind of too salty for me and kind of weird. And I just saw these in the dollar store and they actually looked really, really quality. They blow the French's brand out of the water. Hands down, bar none. All right, you guys know I'm a close-up addict, but there, right, come on, look at that. New inventions. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, these crispy onions are changing the game. Hitting entirely differently. All right, so let's talk about this house. Your man's finally has uh, his own landing pad in his life. Spent most of my life, the last 10 years, um, under the threat of like, when am I, uh, when am I going to get evicted or when is this person going to sell the property that I rent in and things like that. So you're always kind of on edge. You never really feel fully comfortable. Like you've been able to establish some sort of a secure life. But I have that now. 
and it's amazing. Now, the house was secured in April. I moved in first week of April. So I've been here for like five months. I just have never said anything about it on the channel yet. And I mean, it's mainly because it's just such a YouTube remove to do like the in front of the house and like I bought a house. I mean, it's kind of clickbaity. It's a little bit um, braggadocio. I'm not really wasn't into the idea of that like flexing my house and now the other thing is that it's like a lot of these youtubers who do that they're ones who have like gotten really successful and they end up buying like a legitimately pretty crazy house and uh it's like i bought a very modest like starter home kind of deal You know, it's a main floor and a basement that was just newly renovated uh, before moving in, before buying it. But the house is like, you know, it's like 70 years old kind of thing. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just not, not like, I'm not trying to flex it. Like it's, it, it's a nice place. It's like, it's good. Um, I have actually a tenant, like a renter in the space. So uh, my mortgage is covered by the rent. So when I was saying on that video the other day, like I'm financially pretty cool. It's like I don't pay a mortgage. And uh, my bills are just light. It's just like regular life, like internet, cell phone, you know, water, hydro, shit like that. But nothing too crazy. So I'm in a good position that way financially. So huge stress off my back. Um, <clears throat> I also chose to live in the newly renovated area of it, the basement, uh, just because in my opinion, it was the nicer part of the house. And the main reason why is the bathroom and more specifically the shower. I have like a, uh, like a porn shower, basically. It's huge, open concept, uh, has like a bench in it and like the big wide, flat tile floor with like the, with the, the, the waterfall head and everything. You could literally fit like 12 people in my shower. It is usually the highlight of the house. So, so enjoyable. I can't tell you the vibe of like a non-cramped shower, like a bathtub shower, the ones that are bathtubs and a shower, like no thank you <laughs> anymore after this. So that's hype. It's on a corner lot. I got a nice yard. I got a nice shed. Nice back patio. Um, deck situation you know got the table the chairs the umbrella the barbecue all the things it's been a good vibe this summer for sure super stoked on it uh, my only thing is it was because of covid at the time and also i'm waiting to get my <clears throat> my full license back because i let it expire when i lived in toronto and i just never needed a license in toronto i've said this before and um I don't have a, I didn't have a vehicle or anything and COVID was happening. So I wasn't really able to, in my 
main space yet fully furnished like a like a living space i want to get an l couch have it all picked out uh you know tv and like a like a like a tapestry a carpet a rug and like a coffee table and shit and just like some plants and whatever uh i gotta do all that still and i just haven't been rushing that because because it was covid like you're not having people over you're not entertaining i really just don't even live that life yet anyways of like having people over and entertaining too much um i'm not trying to impress like a female or anything so it's like those are the type those are type of things you have your shit together when like you have a nice living room if you're gonna use it a lot with other people have like boys night or friends over or uh, little like gatherings or if you have like a girl in your life like you, you don't want to look like a fucking scrub so it's like she comes over and it's like what you just have your bedroom set up and then there's like not this like it's so immature so i'm and i'm just not even in the realm of trying to do any of that right now so That'll come in time. Um, I found out today actually that my dad was on the on the hunt for me, just keeping an eye out for because um, I'm getting my license for vehicles. Like, because he works or his buddy owns a business that he has like all these work trucks, and the work trucks they're you know they're driven hard, but they are maintained well. And every so often, he just replaces his fleet with like new new trucks and then sells off the old trucks for pretty cheap so i got a link on a truck today so i'm getting a truck and then once i have my truck i like we'll figure out the rest of the house in terms of getting it all set up in that way and to be honest before i blew money on a couch or anything like that, I wanted a vehicle first. Because let's be honest, a vehicle is, you know, serves more utility. And is a uh, way for you to be able to go make more money and shit so that you can like actually deck out your place. So that's all dope, it's falling in line. Super happy, super stoked. And I'll also say this. It is no easy task to lock in a house. There's a lot of fucking little like headaches, hassles, tasks, hoops you gotta jump jump through. Going back and forth with the seller, sometimes that seller, they get pushy. Uh, they also like tell lies to you because they want you to close out quick if the house has been on market for a while, which this one was, which was strange to me because it is such, it was such a good spot. Like it, it just didn't make sense to me that it, why it wouldn't sell that quickly, but it was on market for a while. And ironically enough, the people selling it, they were like on the late twenties, early thirties. And, uh, her husband had just actually got work in, uh, Toronto. So they had to move to Toronto for his job. And I was just coming from Toronto. So their, their parents were actually doing the sale of the home because they had already moved to Toronto and the house was sitting empty, waiting to be sold. And they were hem hemorrhaging rent or mortgage here and paying Toronto rent. So... They wanted it to like happen quickly. And uh, I just kept running into little hangups on my end. Just like another week, another two weeks. And then they started getting all weird about like, oh, well, we have all these other offers now and we have uh, like a cash offer and 
all these little things. But in the end, at the end of the day, I think it was just like little mind games to like try to hurry up the process because I don't know if they fully believed that I was actually going to commit. But divine alignment occurred and I was able to get it done. And it's amazing. And what the coolest part is, of it is, is like, because I have the mortgage and everything covered, I can just like do like work another job or whatever, do this and shit, save, save, save for like two years. Then rent out the space that I currently occupy. So be like mortgage covered, profiting, have money a bunch saved, grab a next place, do the same thing, live in half, rent half. So it's like, it's like profit from this one, but that profit will go back into the mortgage of the new one, but the new one will have a renter. So that's profit. And then it's like property owned, rent rental property, live in with a renter, profiting. And living for free, essentially. So it's all good, man. Like I'm in, I'm in a really good position right now. And uh, I don't know, but yeah, I, I'm really, really grateful. It's super awesome. And after all these years of like just dressing all the time, uh, it feels extra amazing to be honest. So. Yeah, man, uh, super hype, super grateful. And <clears throat> let me just tell you, like I said, getting a house is no easy task. It's, it's pretty crazy. The other thing I'll say is this too, is like in condos and shit, you don't have to like do any of the, any, anything really other than just live in it and, you know, no maintenance or anything. But when you have a house and a yard and a lawn and a, anything that goes wrong and a da, da 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 it's like it's so much general day to day or week to week or whatever upkeep maintenance it takes up a lot of your time man and once you're in it you start looking around you're like okay that could be fixed up or that could be I'm lucky in the, in the sense that this house was already in great condition. So nothing really needs too much work, but there's things that like over time could use like bettering, like just like there's some gravel that needs to be like turned over and planted like actual grass and like some pathways that need to be laid. And uh, I have a little driveway that should be paved. All the windows are like new and good though, which is awesome. Everything like that. Appliances are all new and good. Kitchen's fairly modern. Uh, washer dryer, good. Fairly new. So it is hype. It is hype. And what's good too is like, in the rental unit, the person works nine to five. They're out of the house mostly nine, like 50 hours a week. So if I'm ever here chilling, uh, wanting to make music or whatever, I just do that all day. I can do whatever I want all day, right? Loud as I want. And then when they, just to respect them as, as, as a person, be quiet at night, be chill, be easy. And, uh, and yeah, I got lots of freedom, lots of time, but, uh, once I get this truck here and my license back on September 4th, 
I'm actually craving, like I'm itching to get back out into the world. Like I actually want to go, I actually just want to go back to work to, to literally talk to people. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, just to be around human beings and like have like those, those, those work friendships and just like meet some people and stuff because just this staying at home all the time and working from home gets like you start to go fucking crazy dude it's actually kind of nuts like it's it's super awesome because it's peaceful and like you don't clearly you don't have to be put in situations where it's going to be annoying and stressful where you have to deal with shitheads or idiots or there can be like brutal people at work but there's also like good people at work there's always those kind of like those fun friendships that you create at work and stuff like that and Honestly, I just, I'm down to get back to like a job where I have to like physically move and stand and do shit like eight hours a day because when I'm at home, it's just like, I just find myself not moving enough and I actually want to move more. So, so yeah, all is well over here, to be honest. Um, this Pizza Hut was quite good. I think this was a large, so it probably crushed about a whole medium, to be honest. And uh, I'm full and that's it little update for you to let you know about my life and until the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true hey about that what is up y'all welcome to outside taking advantage of a nice evening in the summer here sun's about to dip i got pizza hut on the way okay i'm in the backyard and ready to intercept delivery men so i'm waiting to intercept the pizza dude right and i figured in the meantime while i'm waiting let's just make up these two sauces that I'm going to have today. Of course, we're going to do the runny ranch. That's what always has to happen. But I just had this thought in my head for some reason or another to go full psychosis and make another sauce of some sort. And that is going to be a sour cream based. Okay. It's going to be freaky. I have no idea what this means. These are mild banana peppers. And I'm just going to use a bit of the Jouis. That's way too much. Can split that between the ranch. Okay. This dip seems possibly disgusting. KFC barbecue that I told you is so good. We're gonna add that in there and see if we can get that to come together a little bit. Come together right now. All over me. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he just say that out loud? Is this a bukaki orgy? Hope not, don't think so not what we're here for i always used to sing that come together uh, all over me and then also uh <laughs> i can feel it coming in my head at night <laughs> oh lord okay this conversation's going too, too dark okay a little bbq i also have a pizza surprise that's kind of why i'm making this sauce like this it just kind of sparked in my head it might match up with the pizza i don't know we'll see the pizza that i'm getting is very polarizing the internet loves to talk about this type of pizza this is life living on a flight path don't live on a flight path okay uh, i need a taste test just to see if it's even any good it's quite good but wait there's more you guys know i've been savage with these these onions lately right so i figure why not make my dip and sauce my little southwest barbecue dip and sauce crunchy right let's just add those in right on top there now i'm not going to sink them in until the pizza gets here because i want them to remain crisp but that my friends was going to be one strange dip potentially but it could be awesome we'll see that's what life's about learning new tricks for old dogs you know pretty old dog over here okay and the runny ranch i usually just do with pepperoncini liquid but i don't have any pepperoncinis right now it's really the same shit it's just a pickling liquid that's mildly spicy yo the valley got these new bottle tops they're actually sick they used to screw off and now they have like this flap i'm super into it but yeah runny ranch is literally just ranch with the liquid mixed right into her. for any of those who ever wondered how i how i make it it's really simple it's just some sort of pickling liquid some lightly spicy pickling liquid mixed into a whole little gang of ranch here and then it's kind of just thin you know it's good for that dip 
Yo, nice night for a little slice outside in nature, isn't it? <laughs> I have officially intercepted the pizza man. The exchange has gone down and it is a beautiful night. I'm racing against the sun though uh, for a pizza hut mukbang in the yard. The great reveal. A dun -dun -dun -dun. What did I get? What did I get to blow y'all's minds? It is, of course, the internet and pizza lovers most controversial pizza. Hawaiian, baby. We got those pineapple gems on there. What do y'all have to say about that? Is that the thumbnail? I think that is the thumbnail. Hello. We gotta crack it, baby. You guys know about a mukbangers pro move, don't ya? <laughs> don't you know, Bobby? Don't you know? Did anybody else used to watch Bobby's World? Of course, if you're of, of age, you gotta be on my level. Uh-oh, something strange is happening here. Uh oh that's not a pro move. That is not a pro move. Oh my god, the pro move is turning into an amateur move so hard right now. Okay, there we go. Let's bring back the coldest water. Shout out the coldest water. If you'd like to save 10% on a bottle, please do so down below using code hoodie. Okay, so yo, it's a beautiful night. I got my pie. This is the pie of the day. It cost me like 15 bucks. That's why I got it. But also, you know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Hawaiian, but I'll do it. It works. We got the Runny Ranch that I showed you that I whipped up and we got this Psycho Sauce, whatever that is. We'll figure that out. Uh, I want to get to this immediately because I don't want it to cool down too much. Uh, before we do anything more, of course, we must. Pa -pa 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 pour. And let me just finish these little, little last bits here that are in there. Uh, get you front and center. And uh, we're, you know, we're doing it right for summertime today, right? We're, we're kind of, let's call this letting summer go today, right? We're, we're seeing it out and we're gonna have a little cocktail with our pizza. Now I have had one already prior to this, as you can maybe tell via my energy. Um, and uh, what we're doing is we're doing ginger ale. Canada dry and uh, just making it nice and fresh. So cheers to you, cheers to me. Cheers to a long ass winter for me. Not cheers really, but what as. Not loving having to be like do adulting. Um, already stressed about the like thousand dollars I'm gonna have to spend on buying a snow blower or something like that. Something as such around the, those prices I feel. And uh, yeah, snow removal, it's a bitch, but What's not a bitch is this pizza. So let's do it. It's looking prim and proper. Yes, we have cheese pull. We're outside in the natural light. And uh, we're trying to beat the sun here. Now, as one would imagine, we're gonna have to go psycho sauce first. There you go. Ooh, ooh, up close and personal. With those crispy bits. Look at that. You guys are going to have to deal with uh, neighbor noise. It's a real thing outside. Dogs. Saws. Cars. Shit popping off. I'll tell you what. That sauce crashes. The crunchy onions. The little sweet BBQ. Oh, 
little tart from that little cut from the pickling liquid, it is hitting really hard. Okay, we you know we gotta get runny with the ranch now. The roddy rich of runny ranch. fire one thing I'm mildly disappointed about is they put the ham underneath the cheese to me rookie error I'll put it on top to get a crisp on it no don't you think? Let me know below. As you can tell, I'm starving. going full savage haven't had anything yet today to eat and it's like 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, <clears throat> also once again trying to beat this Sun right now might have to adjust this camera lighting we're just gonna officially call this psycho sauce the wind is picking up Yo. What is this? I'm telling you what. This sauce. I really did not have high expectations. And it is crushing I might even go as far as to say in this particular instance it's got running ranch beat awesome. the mood is legit out very crescent and uh, looking sick that's definitely one thing in life that we got to appreciate food <laughs> for sure but really just a simple beauty of nature of the sun setting you know really one of the highlights of life they say the best things in life are free but you can give them to the birds and bees I want money <laughs> Mm, that's what I want. Your money. Advertiser money. On these videos. That said. I did actually just get a donation randomly from a, well, maybe I won't say their name at all if they don't. Well, it's not that it matters, but just a, a woman, a lady. I emailed her. I thanked her. I always do. 
when anybody sends me any sort of uh, generous, you know, thank you for these videos type uh, compensation. It's always appreciated. So if you're watching this video, you know who you are and thank you for your money. <laughs> money is always appreciated. Though taboo. Not supposed to talk about it. That said though, I feel like In life, that's the smartest shit you could do. And you got to be proactive in your um, your personal learning about about money and like where to put it, how to make it grow, how to invest, how to make it work for you. You know, if you never seek that knowledge. You'll stay uh, check to check. You know, pretty much for the rest of your life because you need to actively seek that knowledge. Now, it does take money initially to even have to start doing things with though. But once you have money, it's much easier to make money. You know, money's a strange concept. The driving force of a lot of crazy shit. A lot of evil shit. I feel like it makes people do shitty things to each other. That said though, I also view money as like this fake thing that makes us civil. Cause I feel like without money, we would be savages. Like, you know what I mean? If it just, if, if, if it was like, you know, rape, pillage, steal, murder to, to acquire things, right? Things that you desire and want. But then those who are like physically and genetically like jacked or armed to the teeth are going to win out. And who have those, like, those savage character traits. Like, are you capable of murder, <laughs> right? I feel like most people aren't. But that's because we live in a civilized society now. It's always interesting to think about though, like what, what, would, what would be the alternative to money? Because if we lived on like a barter system, a utopian barter system where everybody just did what they love to do, like would anything get done Would we advance? Does advancing even matter? I feel like advancement ultimately leads to our demise anyways. I feel like going back to nature and being more simplistic in our pursuits is like a better way of life. But unfortunately,
you know, as man and the human race. We have desire to progress, to learn, to understand, to, to, to achieve knowledge beyond what we're meant to have or something like that, right? Ultimately, man's desire is to solve the puzzle, solve the mystery, because we are born into a mystery. We were born into a puzzle. And, uh, we want to keep solving that puzzle until we know some fucking real answers, which we don't know shit still, by the way. It's stupid. It's so interesting. Just life and the consideration of things and the fact that we let's say we were created by something the fact that we have the fucking arrogance or ego to believe that we can <laughs> track it down <laughs> that we can ultimately like like it's hide and seek right like we're gonna find it it's like if this is so fucking vast and amazing and miraculous and everything, every word you want to call it. You really think that our little inferior asses are going to figure it out? No. Definitely not. Even if, even if it's like a well-intended idea, you still have the other aspect of it, of like the social dynamic of money. And what that makes people do and how that makes people act and power and all these complex dynamic things that occur in humans across humans that ultimately like toxicify our very existence and lead us to destruction, <laughs> self-destruction. While, while some of that is you know, within that, within that structure and that system, there is some nobility moving towards understanding and solving the puzzle. <laughs> but I feel like it feels futile to even try to solve the puzzle. It's like, just be here, be easy, be simple, just do the things that are like natural and free and chill and cool. Maybe do some cool shit along the way. And then just like, die because that's what you're supposed to do but man wants to be immortal and man wants to play god and man wants to 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 find god understand god and become god and then also become like have eternal life i feel like that's what like ai and robotics and everything and like all this like genome shit that we're like trying to figure out is we're trying to immortalize ourselves when i don't know if it's a, in our nature to be immortal you know and it's like, if there is something beyond this, maybe this is, you know, it's weird because I look around and I look at how the beauty of this world, right? There is a lot of beauty, but a lot of it's a lot of terrible hatred and pain and suffering and uh, it, you know, I'd be hard pressed to say that this is hell, but what if beyond this, when you die, you do go somewhere like back to what feels way more like home like maybe this is some shitty ish type purgatory but there's some beauty to be found in it i guess which which always contradicts my point about okay well this can't be a living hell because this place is seemingly too beautiful and 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 like ripe with great things mm, but alternatively those who are in, are in command make it a very shitty place most of the time and the structure that we have in place to exist. But therein lies the problem, back to my earlier point, is like there needs to be that crazy, uh, you know, classist, tyrannical type structure in order for us to actually, you know, get along and 
and not kill each other and be savages because if we didn't have that in place then we would fucking go crazy and like and if it was you know no holds barred and every man for himself you know shit would be nuts so it's like you know you want to hate the system or whatever but like what's a better one i don't know this video went way deeper crazy than i thought it would but <laughs> that's the that's the four ounces of liquor i guess gets me thinking i'm also just tapped into like i'm just riffing off the uh the ethereal realm right now which i often do with myself um i got two pieces here i feel like i could smash them but i feel like i've been talking so long that at this point it doesn't matter and i went savage mode in the beginning and uh, for right now, I, for some reason, I actually just feel like talking <laughs> and expressing myself. Uh, lots of times in these videos, it's not that it's a struggle to, to say a shit. It's just that it's like, I don't know. Some days it just, I'm not, I don't have it. Like I don't have the tap, I'm not tapped in. But right now I was just tapped in. So anyways, I don't know. That went on a crazy different train. And, uh. I'll save these two for a little later on. A couple more drinks. These dead, you know what I'm saying? You get it, I'm sure you understand. All right. Hope you enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that one. Just there's something about outside, there's something about this vibe, this nature, and, uh, you know, some deeper thoughts. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.
black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up? Back with another one. Got myself a smoking hot fresh pie here from the Pizza Hut and uh, double cheese, pepperoni, light sauce, hot, 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 ready. I got to get into it. I'm not even pouring right now because I need to have a fresh hot bite of this. I'm wasting no time in this video because you guys know that I like my pie to be as hot as possible. Okay, so runny ranch confirmed. I come equipped to drip. Flight path, of course, wait for it. And then we go in. That is so top tier right now. Mm -hmm. I've been craving this. So perfect. Chef's kiss. Okay, now we'll quickly pour. I just needed to get one really, really fresh hot piece. <clears throat> Bringing in some different Hydration options today. This is apple juice. It's just what I've got on hand. Snowmobiler. I'll tell you what. I bought a carton of that the other day. I hadn't had apple juice in a long, long time. And low key, the apple juice does be does be hitting different. It slaps. Okay, so here we got some sweet baby rays. And then I'm gonna pull this cycle move because we were at the tail end of these guys. I gotta buy a new pack anyways, so just dip it in there like that. And we have ourselves. barbecue and a crunchy onion bite that is something else You know your Pizza Hut addiction is real when the de delivery driver, delivery driver, calls you by first name. And you have a rapport. Cause that just happened. Have one of these mini pieces, my favorite. I love the, the tiny little finger pieces. But today was the uh, right moment to strike cause Pizza Hut has like a daily pizza for $10. 
and Tuesday is pepperoni and cheese. So I had to get it up. Altogether, it was like 17 bucks of delivery, so I can deal with that. Otherwise, Pizza Hut is quite expensive. Somebody in the comments on a Pizza Hut video of mine once said, only children get pepperoni and cheese pizza. Mmm, so cloudy, so pillowy. If that's the case, then I'm gladly seven years old. To me, the simplicity of a pep and cheese, it's just right on the money every time. first half went down fast I gotta chill out and slow down a bit here but I was starving and it just I love when it's like so fresh but the microphone that I ordered finally came in and I'm using it right now and I think it should be pretty pretty like really good I hope better than the other one, like my old one that I had. A little more expensive. It's actually powered differently. So I'm intrigued to see how that comes out. I'm also intrigued to know I'd like to see if I can get away with using it for an ASMR video or ASMR videos or I'm going to have to pick up something else more specifically for that. Because I do want to bring the chill whisper vibes back a little bit. I just hate when there's a shit ton of <clears throat> white noise and hiss.
problem I've been dealing with over the years. I know that like the blue the blue mics, the Yeti mics, are like the the go to like quality like the jam, but I personally hate having a huge dildo esque mic in the video, like in the visual. I find it very annoying to me to maneuver around. I feel like it's distracting to the viewer. So I'm trying to find an alternate solution to that. though who knew I wonder what this is like a barbecue pepperoncini bite never been done before it's all right Not as appropriate as that. <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm in a chill one today. I didn't have the hyper vibes. Probably has to do with the fact that it's been overcast, <clears throat> gloomy, snowing all day. And it gets dark at five o'clock. It's hard to feel stoked in, uh, in that climate. That's going to be that one. I'm at the perfect level of full. I don't want to push it. That satisfied and just hit the spot just right. So I'm going to leave it right there. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know about the microphone. I think I should be good. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.